State at Morgan State this Saturday on the road. Let's talk about camp. Uh, obviously, the off season was uh, was very hectic and crazy with uh, you know head coach Paul Gorham having a medical leave. But what you know what he went through and what he battled and, and to get back and, and, and to and be improving with his health. What is that that show? Or what has that done for your team uh, as they went into preseason camp uh, uh, this season? Well, I think that they've uh, had a lot of uh, preparation uh, for this game. I think that they've gotten their head all the time and they're going to uh, set them up and know what the different positions are going to be at any given day. I think that they've been great job with the OJT and their workouts. Um, not having to upgrade the run is going to be a big goal for the next game. So it will be a great practice. And uh, camp this year is what? We're going well for us. Uh, we got our arms and rotating through injuries. Uh, we just have to get the right results. Coaches, camp comes came to an end. You guys aimed your captains for the season, three captains and seniors: Ross Tate, Tyler Fair, and Nico Sierra. Can you talk about uh, what their leadership qualities and what what they bring to the table, both on the field and off, to earn them the right to be captains this year? Well, first they were voted on as a uh, the year, and uh, all three of those were able to come through together. But um, Ross Tate was a fifth year senior for us the whole time, and that's been a big thing for me as well. Uh, Ross has also had over 100 years of uh, playing. And Nico, obviously, too, because he's got a red shirt this year. I think uh, you know, he wants to be better than one on offense as well. As long as those two kids step up, then I think they will. Um, he'll be fine. I, I don't think they're going to have two years to go to the break this season. As long as we got two to four captains, um, no matter what side of the ball it is, I think those kids will step up immediately and be the talent on the field for the whole team. So, um, they're good quality kids. Rock has already graduated. Uh, they're both solid athletic kids. So, Trey, well, let's talk about the team. And as you finish preseason camp and head towards week one, let's take a look at the offense. And last season, as you headed towards uh, the first game, if you were, you had two kids battling for a quarterback position. Uh, Tim Little uh, won out in the opening weeks of the season and had a very good year uh, for the Pioneers. So maybe if you could talk about the quarterback position, uh, in a, a pretty deep receiving core uh, with guys like Joe Berger, Neal, and Rob Kate back, seasoned veterans, uh, mixed with some young talent. Yeah. Uh, offensively, I still think that uh, the strength of our offense is going to be our running backs right now. Uh, we have four or five kids that are all fighting for those starting positions. Uh, Jamie and Sid is uh, a good defensive player. Uh, they're all very athletic. They uh, can do a lot of different things. You know, Greg Moore, uh, Travis Bennett, Charles Bell. Had three kids in Rock Cave, Justin Lindell, Josh Pepper, and Paul Bradley, and they've had some sophomores. They've been on the field since their sophomore year. Those guys feel like they do have a lot of good depth and experience and they've maintained uh, playing. And I like what uh, what they've been able to write off these kids are back when they graduated. Uh, they can be their backfield back in both ways. They have a, a lot of experience that comes along with those last year. And a kid that, you know, we really had high hopes for, uh, Tyler Rudy, who was a red shirt last year, but a red shirt freshman this year. Last few years have led the league in rushing offense and passing. It has been last in rushing. And 
you look at that stable of running backs, and you said it perfectly, that it's, it's just a mix of different styles. And I think any football fan knows that in order to run effectively, it, it, it comes up across the offensive line. And, you know, preseason all you see pick Justin Martell, uh, he's back, you know, Ben Eagle, Paul, these guys that have gained experience. Maybe if you could talk a little bit more about what you expect out of that run game. Can you break that trend this year of uh, being drafted into the offense? Yeah, I, I hope we can. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the run game. And I, the run game is going to have to run the ball. You know, you've got to run the ball to win the game. And I think it starts up front. I think how our two running backs start with the offensive line and defense the line. I think that's going to be the key as we go to the summer. And I think I like Jacob Bell in the offensive line right now. I like the running back. I like uh, the Kevin Bowles in the offensive coordinator that's coming in and starting to play more run game. So let's flip it to the other side on defense. Uh, the side of the ball you're most familiar with, I know, is coaching the linebackers. And you did lose one uh, one of the best you ever had in the program, with Chris Mangus, in, in that linebacker core. When you bring back a guy like uh, Matt Bellucci, Justin Sexton, uh, in the linebacker core, can you talk a little bit about uh, up front what we can expect from the defensive line and the linebackers? Well, the defensive line, you know, our centers are in the team are the defensive line. Other than that, everybody else is a sophomore or a junior. So we're young up front. Let's step down the defensive back to the last year. We probably could look at the depth chart and sit outside and say, wow, that's a pretty young group. But they had a lot of success last year. Uh, you, know, you, you, you had a guy lead your team to tackles. Uh, what is that? How does that help you moving forward when you pretty much have the same you know, core guys back? How did they look in the camp? And uh, how, did they, how did they do work in the season?
Well, week one, coach, you guys head down to Baltimore to take down the Morgan State Bears. And that's a team uh, Sacred Heart has never faced before. Uh, schedule kind of course this season. The Pioneers will play at home only four times and on the road at seven. Uh, what kind of challenges does that pose? And what do we know about Morgan State that you can share with us? All right, Coach, well, good luck this week against Morgan State. We'll catch up with you again uh, for week two as we head into full game for week two. Uh, you can listen to all the action live on SacredHeartPioneers.com. All right, Coach, good luck this week.